up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is complete scandal. That is right out of this world. I believe it! I don't believe it! For the last match, and it's the Battle of the Egyptians, the baby-faced assassin, the number seven seed, taking on Ali Farag. An indication as well, he's actually trying to hit a very fine margin. He's not, you know, he's not putting any safety element on it. He's really trying to almost win the point with that shot. Well, well, if you can't take it at the front because you make an error, why not just go down the line and hit a ball like that? Inch perfect. But uh, it's been, he's done very, very well to just find himself parked at 6 5 in front of this first game. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, Prima Abdul Gwad's kind of started as he left off, really. Particularly Seven, the five. And not that long a time either, Johnny. I mean, Farag, if he was going to lose his first game, would have at least, at least wanted to put some, some work into Kareem Abdul-Gawad. Well, he must go to work now. I mean, he has to just and use every, six, ten, every eight, rally as, as an opportunity to do that. Probably just inflict a bit of pace as well. He's not really tried to up the tempo either. It's game over. Well, the roars from the Cairo crowd. Game to Gawad. Gawad leads. Little things like that, the way he, he's defending from the back at times, Johnny. Abdul Gawad. And his ability to just lift that ball. Oh, my oh, goodness me. Again, you just, it, you have to wait to watch this because he comes in with a full Too swing. Low. How do you have such a full swing so close to the front wall? How does he do it? Abdul Gawad just had his hand on his hip there as he returned serve. A bit of extra breathing going on. Now, this is better now. Farag giving himself a, a wallop in the chest. Seven all. It's just an invitation for the baby-faced assassin to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Stroke to Farag. Well, Farag can't review it. You see, uh, Kawad can't review it. He lost it earlier. It was similar to what happened before. Ten that all. one a little bit more. Not out. So Farag misjudging that one. 13 11. Game Massive to Gawad. Shout to Walla. Gawad leads two games to love. Well, those, uh, those fantastic uh, boxing matches back in the heydays, you know, in the 70s. The Rumble, I've said it before on Squash of the Rumble in the Jungle, Thriller in Manila. Three love. I hope this turns into, uh, I don't know what you call it, the clubbing in Cairo. <laughs> Talking about a different form Down. of clubbing before the match. Four low. Oh. <laughs> Silky again. Oh. I mean, it, I should have a, nine. I should have a picture where gold just flows out. Of Farag. Getting a bit of pump and housing in his body. Not out. Because uh, Babyface Assassin is starting Four, to. 4-2. Kareem Abdul Gawad, who produces the goods here in Cairo. He won Al Aram when it was at the Pyramids. He won the World Championships when it was at Wadi, Wadi Degla. And Ali Farag has produced a beautiful shot, but... Oh, my goodness, oh, man. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he nearly oh, got it! Oh. He nearly got it! He nearly got that! He's not moving too bad for someone who's supposedly so tired, Joey. Well, look at this. He was not Down. far away there. So much purpose and intent on every ball that Gawad is hitting. Well, he was written off, I would say. He was written off. Everyone was saying he was far too tired. But the baby-faced assassin has produced the goods. 
He plays his best squash here in Cairo, that's for sure. 62 minutes. Kareem Abdul Gawad, the best player in the tournament. The road through, the players he's beaten, what he's done is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He adds to the mix. Really ending 2018 on a massive, massive high. Ali Farag certainly lived to fight another day. One of the most impressive tournaments we've seen on the PSA Tour this year. In a week, you took down the world number four, the world number two, and the world number one. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, it's a, it's a very tough tournament for me, and uh, especially I've, I've not been playing the, like at this level for so long now, and uh, to be back and. Uh, uh, winning this this major tournament is uh, uh, it means a lot to me, of course, and I've been working so hard to try to get back to my form and uh, what I used to play. So um, I'm really happy to be back to my form uh, by the end of the season winning a major tournament.